see what we got going on here. So let's see. The next thing I want to cover is adding auxiliary lanes. Sometimes people like to add additional super elevation shapes where they have pavement that widens out. Sometimes it's not really necessary because you can do a lot of that inside of the actual template. Um, but I do know some people do like to add super elevation shapes to take into account pavement widening and things like that. So we do have a special tool that, that handles that. So I want to cover that real briefly. Uh, it's basically a tool. It's called Create Auxiliary Lanes. So I'm going to come up to uh, down over here to this part of my project near, let's see, somewhere towards the end here. We're going to have the, some pavement widening happening. I think it's over by 760 or so. Where are we at here? Yeah, somewhere down here, we're going to add a third lane, doing some third lane widening. And um, so a lot of times what people will want to do is they want to add an additional super elevation lane here as an auxiliary lane because maybe it has a different cross slope than the mainline pavement. Now you could do this all in a template, okay? So just keep that in mind, but I just wanna show you the tool if you prefer this type of workflow. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to create super elevation lanes. And I wanna add an auxiliary lane here. It's gonna have a different normal cross slope than our main line. So remember our main line is minus 2%. We wanna add an auxiliary lane that it's maybe a little bit steeper for drainage purposes. We'll do like a minus 2.5% and it'll be constant. Um, so what we'll do is we'll first select our super elevation section here. We'll right click to reset. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it the eastbound auxiliary lane or aux lane, however you want to call it. And then I need to define what type of uh, lane it's going to be. Well, it's not going to be a primary lane. We've already defined our primary lanes. It's going to be an auxiliary lane. So when we change the type to auxiliary, we get some different options here. So I'm just going to click through the prompts. So it's like, what type of uh, auxiliary lane is this? Well, you have an option. We could have it be a constant cross slope, or we could have it follow the adjacent cross slope. So we want this to be a constant cross slope because I want it to be minus 2.5% rather than 2%. So I don't want it to follow the adjacent lanes. I want it to be something very specific in this case. I want it to be 2.5%. So I'm going to set this to constant. And it's going to be on the right side of the road. So I'm going to set that to right. And then my inside edge offset needs to be the offset from the center line to this edge where this would begin this particular lane. So I'm going to set that for 49 feet for the offset. So that's the distance from the center line to this edge there. And then the width again, it's going to be 12 feet. And then from here, we can just key in the stations, station range that we want to use to create this lane. So we'll use 763 plus 50. And then we'll just press Alt to go down towards the end. Our cross slope is going to be minus 2.5%. And that's going to go ahead and create that additional lane there. So we got our 2% lanes here, and now we got a 2.5% lane there. Okay. Again, you have the dynamic text that's so you know fully able to be edited as needed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.